Hey guys, I'm here today with some classic old school boats. Uh, if you don't know the story behind these, I'm going to put a link to a, a blog page uh, down below. If you're watching this, this is a standalone video. To make a long story short, a club retired these boats and gave them to me to try to restore and get back on the water and in the hands of uh, up and coming competitive paddlers and fitness paddlers. Uh, we've got two K2s here on the left, two uh, K1 uh, sprint boats here in the middle and then two flat water trainers. These are called Strewer Slenders. Uh, one of these is actually in reasonably good shape. This uh, second one in here, I actually did a little bit of repair work on the seam just to epoxy it together enough to get it back on the water. Had it out on Wednesday. Everything's here on this boat and it's a great training boat for somebody new to the sport. Um, these all have understern rudders. If you look inside this one you can see it's got the footrest and the tiller bar in there. Everything was complete on this boat. It's got the seat and uh, it's got a small understern rudder here. Let me pan back. Relatively small rudder. Now this other one's missing most things here. There's no rudder on it. The, the, the holder for the rudder is all there. Uh, you see the seat's loose. It's missing some parts. The tiller's here but it's loose. There's no footrest, no, uh, no, no anything in here, and there's the wheel for the top of the rudder. So this one needs some bits and pieces and parts. Now these K2s are really cool. This one nearest the camera here on the bottom, I really want to get back on the water. It just looks cool. It's red, white, and blue. Uh, my paddling buddy Dave and I, I think my training partner and I, would uh, really enjoy getting this on the water so I'm thinking about keeping this one for myself if I can get it fixed up but it needs parts too there's one seat here that's busted and you know it's filthy of course the dirt doesn't bother me but the big crack in the seat bothers me the rear seat is here and intact the second K2N it doesn't have a rear seat it's got a really cracked front one uh, neither one of these boats has a uh, working tiller they're missing rudders the 2K1 sprint boats here in the middle. One has a rudder. It's an old rudder. You know, you can tell the age of these boats when you look at the mechanicals here. A lot of that is wood in there. Pretty, pretty old, but pretty awesome. Uh, that one's got the tiller. It's got the footrest, but no seat. It's got the the bolt sticking out of the bottom to mount a seat, but I don't have a seat for it. This one here to the right. It's got nothing. It is just a shell. There's no mechanicals, no rudder, no seat. There's no mount for a seat. There's no mount for a uh, for footrest. So this one, I'm afraid, is probably uh, going to uh, find the end of its lifetime here. I don't think this one's worth putting the effort into to get fixed up. The one to the left, uh, maybe. It's the lightest construction boat of all of these. Um, so I'm, I'm sure it's pretty fast. We'll see. If I can get get the rest of the parts and seat that I need, I'll do what I can to get, to get it back on the water. Here's where you come in. If you have old parts sitting around in maybe a boathouse, if you're a club and you have club seats, rudders, tillers, footrests, um, let me know if you're willing to, to part with them. Um, let's get together and I would greatly appreciate any parts you have laying around that look like they would fit bolts of this age and vintage uh, so I can get them back on the water. I especially need understern rudders. Uh, that's a part I'm not sure I know enough about them to be able to fabricate any on my own. So if you've got anything laying around your, your basement, your garage, or in your clubhouse um, that looks like it might work for bolts of this vintage, please let me know. I want to get my hands on those parts so I can get these bolts restored and back on the water. I've already got a few hundred dollars into these just on the gas to get up to New Jersey and back and the, the tolls it took and meals. Um, and I actually spent a night in a hotel um, on my second trip up there just to break up the driving a bit. It's about seven, seven hours each way. Uh, a week ago I went up and got the first three of these as a day trip. Left at 3.30 in the morning, got back at 8.30 at night. And then uh, this weekend I went and got the, the other three. I uh, drove up Friday night after work and then uh, picked up the boat Saturday and drove back. As you can see, I've got my hands full. I've got a long winter a number of projects ahead of me this year. Um, anything you can do to help me out with parts, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's get these boats back on the water and get them into the hands of new paddlers to introduce them to the sport. Thank you.